Hello and welcome back to Sprite Guard Plays Road Not Taken. Today uh, we are going to... I'm very sorry about the, the lack of an episode last week. Uh, we're going to try and recover and uh, finish up year 7. And uh, I don't know if uh, being unmasked will actually do anything. Uh, but we had we took off our hood at the l end of the last episode. Uh, we do actually need to uh, re-equip uh, because we lost actually some very important uh, charms. The coffee mug was really really helpful to us. It started us with like 150 extra energy. Now the uh, the fork will give us uh, will make honey better. Uh, let's see. Dark spirits appear sooner, but food gives plus five energy. Let's not do that. A hundred percent more rice. Uh, food gives minus five energy. No. And a uh, plus one parents. Yeah, that seems like uh, that seems useful. And I think that is all we have left for us. So hopefully we'll be able to get. Uh, some more. I actually, I watched a friend of mine playing this game, and I found out that the townspeople are slightly different every time you play, which I think is really cool. Uh, now, Naomi seems to be in a better mood. I don't actually know if we can look at our inventory. Yeah, show inventory. Uh, so we have nothing at all. And so let's see if we can uh, find some gifts and save the kids. And uh, let's see if we can remember to teleport ourselves out of a jam this time. Let's see, so we need three moles. We had uh, one extra up there. Uh, right away, we should be able to... Come on, bear. Oh, that rabbit's gonna run away. Uh, right away, we should be able to rescue this child. Let's see. Maybe not going to be as easy as I hoped. I think that has freed up... yes. There we go. So that's the first child rescued. One out of five. And uh, let's see, we need... so we need one more mole. Uh, there's one way down there. Uh, but there was a pretty convenient one up here. Yes, you were brave. Alright, let's throw that down there. And then just loop around here. There we go. Oh, no. There we go. Oh, no. Not quite. Let's see. Now we should... There we go. That's right. Uh, it looks like that thing throws us. Let's see. This fellow is a bit of a bully. Forest Bull. This bully likes to push others around. Alright. Now I think if we can push these two bears together by fours... Oh no, I think we need three or four. That's right, let's see. We can use that ice to swap those around. Oh, we actually have an opportunity here to get three of these and make an axe. Which, uh, oh, oh no. All right, so that was a that was a mistake. I fumbled that. Uh, let's see, we need four rocks to open that door down below. There we go, so that is that open. Let's head this way first. Ah, we have a puzzle room. And uh, it looks like we have some ice, we have a mole. Uh, that'll be interesting. We need four moles together to open that door. And uh, we need to open that door in order to get that kid out. So if we do that... Yes, so this is, this is going to be interesting. Because these moles will burrow under stuff. And uh, in so doing, we'll move it around. So if we throw this mole down... It will actually block our way, and so we don't want to do that yet. So, yeah, we can really kind of shuffle blocks around in an interesting way. Let's see, we can do that. 
but uh, the the burrowing is going to make things really complicated. You know, we can't just throw these guys around. We have to really consider where they're going to go. And uh, make sure that we don't block ourselves off. So, like, this guy will go up and he'll burrow right under that one. And then we can move this guy over here. And now this guy's going to burrow through those three blocks if we throw him that way. Yeah, there's not an easy way of getting this guy to connect up with the other three. And uh, because these guys are here, let's see. Yeah, we, we can't really do much. Yeah, we're kind of stuck here. And uh, I'm not really... Let's see. Okay, so... Actually, if we can get over to this mole, we can do that. And that gets that kid to there, but we can't quite get that kid out yet. Let's see, can we get to the other side of one of these moles? I think we can, and now we should be able to... Uh, we can't quite get this mole where I wanted it to go. I wanted it to go right here. And, uh... Now, that actually wouldn't have moved the kid where I wanted it to go. Because we want to get the kid... We want to kind of create an opening for the kid. Yeah, this is... this is tough. This is really tough. Yeah, it's it's going to be really easy to get stuff stuck. Uh, we may need to use this ice block in some clever ways. Actually, ah no, now we've blocked ourselves out. So that's that's unfortunate, but we can head down this way. And uh, maybe we'll be able to loop around. Now, Maya looks quite upset. We want to be careful not to make an angry ghost. Uh, because we are at risk of doing that. And it looks like we have... A new thing. The hawk eyes you. It looks vicious. Hawks dive straight down toward their victims and carry them away. Oh dear. Oh dear. That's... worrying. So yeah, yeah, we can throw that there. Wait for the ninja bear. There we go. So there's our axe. Uh, we need four flowers. We have four flowers. Let's see. We can chop that into wood, but that won't make it go away. And so, yeah, we got another recipe for wood. That's, that's not too surprising. So that got rid of most of the Molten Spirits. Uh, so there's no kids in here. So, now we need four blossoming flowers, which, uh, flowers act a little bit... I don't remember exactly what makes them blossom. Hey, we got a rabbit! Alright, oof. It is nap time for me soon. Aww. I wonder what next year brings. Boy, so she's, like, not even gonna give us much of a chance for anything. Oh, hello! 
Ah, I think we actually knew that already, that you can chop ninja bears with the axe. The apple gives you a small amount of energy. Tasty. So that is really good. That's something we really need to remember. Okay, got that. How are we going to do this? There we go. That's how you do that. Alright, so now we have access to over here. And it looks like we don't really have a way into that challenge room. We need four ice blocks to get through that passage. And uh, that is not, it's not really obvious how we're going to do that. We do want to grab the axe over here. Which is going to require getting a little clever with that log. Oh dear. Okay, so this is, this is a bit of a puzzle. There we go. That will let us get that out of the way oh no oh and that uh... that ice block has now made the flowers close up okay so i, I made some some mistakes here um, yeah, we're going to have to do a little bit to sort these things out. Alright, there we go. That's got that sorted out. Now we just need to throw that there. And uh, see if we can use it on some of these ninja bears. There we go. That worked. Ah, we got some rice. Okay. So that's got that kid rescued. Now we just grab that. And uh, see if we can trick these ninja bears. There we go. So there's one more of them. Don't know where he's going to go. There we go. Got him. So I think, how many ice blocks were there over here? Two. And uh, there's not really a clear way of getting them out, so that might be a dead end. So, let's see. Let's see what we have up this way. Because we do have a passage over here. And we need four of those bull things. Let's see, we can make another axe. If we're clever. Now that bull appears to already be active. There's our axe. There's one apple. And, uh, having a little bit of a fumble here. There we go. All right, so he went someplace useful briefly. But we're having trouble luring him into a trap. He seems at least somewhat clever. 
So where where are we even going to get more of those bowls? I think there was one of them over here. And uh, these kids are going to get in our way. But maybe we can use that, yes, to burrow through there. Get you over there. Now, was there another one down here? There was. All right. Don't know what happened there. Now, let's see. All right, so these guys bump stuff in the same way that uh, the rocks do. Ah, no, they it looks like they bump stuff farther. And so we should be able to bump those guys together. There we go. Grab that rabbit. What, are the, what does the Ranger Guild have to say? Job, love, kids. No one told you the job alone would be so hard. Oh dear. Alright, so we can throw these guys to make them weaker, and then they run away from us, apparently. Wonder if we can corner this guy. I think we would need to use, yes, an item. There we go. Trapped bee is still a dangerous bee. Scared bee. A scared bee will sting if you carry it. Maybe chase it into position. All right. So we don't actually have a way out of here. So maybe, yeah, we can chase the bee out of there. And then it's just a matter of doing that. There we go. So on to here. Uh, we have another kid. We can make a stun potion. If we're clever. There we go. So there's a stun potion. And, uh... I think we may just want to get rid of it. Let's see, we have another statue, we have a bunch of hedges, we need four moles to get out of here. We only have three. So let's focus on saving this kid. Ah, there's, yes, the ox are blocking it, so. Just throw it like that. Ah, hmm. That, that'll do. Build fires to improve the weather in tricky spots. Fires reduce the cost, uh, I didn't see what that said. Anyway, not super important. It looks like uh, the, the shrine thing is already working. Now, uh, we're having a little trouble getting this kid out of here. Alright, that's one more kid saved. And that'll open that. We're very close to being able to make a honey here. Which is, uh, worth extra. Very nearly there. There we go. The honey energizes you. So we're actually doing pretty well for energy. But we may have made the challenge room impossible. And I believe the only way to get to it is from... This side? Let's see. No, this is... Oh yeah, this is the challenge room. 
Uh, so there's a door on the other side, and there was... I did see a way to get to that door. I think we need an extra mole, which we have right here. Oh, kid, get out of the way. There we go. Ah, they don't bur burrow under signs. That's good to know. So yeah, now we have four of these guys. Just need to get them together. There we go. So let's see if we can get into the challenge room from this side. Uh, we need four hedges. There was another hedge up there. Let's see. We can make a stun potion. What's this? Owls love you. They really do. Owl. Owls are a favorite ingredient in many burning and grinding recipes. So if we can find a fire pit, that could be really useful. Uh, let's give Brent a rabbit, yeah. The rabbit stays remarkably calm in his presence. Its nose twitches. Alright, so he likes us a bit more. Looks like a storm is brewing. Okay. So, let's see if we can get... hmm... Can we get this hedge? Looks like that owl follows us. Okay. We can take a hit to our energy there to uh, move this hedge over this way, and then we can just grab one of the hedges up here. Ah, but, uh, I didn't think about the mole. We can just, uh, nope, that doesn't work. Oh dear, that's just making things worse. There we go, there we go. So that's, that's our fourth hedge. We just need to be a little careful about where to put it. Oh no, oh no, that was not what I wanted at all. Very frustrating. But we did leave a pretty straight path for ourselves there. There we go. So now we can get to this side, we can get the kid out, and uh, should be able to find a parent somewhere around here. And that'll be four out of five. I'm not sure where the fifth child is. So where have we not been yet? Let's see, have we been down here? So we've got two more parents. And Maya, we need four ice blocks to get over there. Aha, and we have a uh, one of these things to make potions. And uh, what did we see? We saw something that was useful in potions. Was that the owl? Uh, favorite ingredient in many burning and grinding recipes. Now that owl, uh, we'd have to carry quite a long way in order to craft it. But it may be worth it. We can also look over here if there's an easier way to go down. Let's see, four statues, that's not easy at all. We only have two statues, and statues are very difficult to deal with. So we'll just take this around the long way. And it looks like it does want to follow us. 
though not very far. I see, they wake up and fall asleep. There we go. Very nice. Just a little bit farther. Oh, too far. Oh wait, no, I think we actually want to go this way. I don't actually remember where exactly we're going, but I think it's here. Ah, uh, yes. Yes. So, it'll follow us. Uh, maybe a little bit too... much? A little too closely? There we go. So, let's see. Potion of following. Some are born followers, others are made. And so that's what happens when you make a potion with an owl. And so we could make something follow us. I don't think we want to at this point. Let's see, what can we chop with the axe? Not those. Not that. We would need four ice blocks to get through that. That's not much easier than the four statues, but we do have four ice blocks available to us. Let's see, but... Actually getting them is going to be incredibly difficult. We just need to be... Oh no! Ah, oh! Oh! So they really carry you, okay. So we need to go back to the mayor. And, uh... And now, okay. There we go. So, we don't have a great way of getting to that last kid. These ice blocks are really tough to move around. This owl is being kind of a jerk. I guess we could take the hit from that Molten Spirit. Or we could bring the, uh, the crafting thing. that way and just start crafting stuff uh, we don't really want to use the potion of following but we basically just want to use this to clear clear stuff out uh, good thing we can't craft ice let's see We can maybe use that fear potion. Actually, you know what? Maybe we can use a potion of following on one of these ice blocks. That would be handy. Uh, there's nowhere to throw it that won't make some that won't hit something else. That's that's a disappointment. But if we grab it like that, then we can throw it there, and that will make the ice block follow us. And then we just need to, let's see... 
this will take this will take a while to oh and uh, we used up a potion of grip on it which is fine ah hmm There we go. Oh, oh dear. Well, we don't have much that we can do with that then, do we? And that's, let's see, that's not going to follow us. Uh, is there a potion we can use on it? There's just a potion of grip, that won't do anything. Uh, you know, if we could get to that potion of fear, that would be useful. But yeah, those are just going to swap places endlessly. Yeah, not much we can do here. We might actually be stuck. That's disappointing. That's really disappointing, but I think we're going to have to leave. Uh, so yeah, I think I think that's the best we can do. My brother's daughter didn't make it back, but you did your job otherwise. That's so disappointing. Another year has passed. Eight years remaining. Four of five children rescued. Sixty energy remaining. Plus thirty next year. Twelve secrets discovered this year. All right, let's see. Let's talk to people now. She looks at you expectantly. Let's give you some rice. Naomi splits the food into three piles. Perfect, one offering for each of my cousin's graves. Do you do anything for your family? You and Naomi are now good friends. She whispers something in your ear. Six secrets. Raccoon stew. Fire plus raccoon. Nice. Let's see. We can make an apple from a bunch of stuff we've never seen before. And uh, we can make ice by throwing uh, by throwing a crafting pit at a, a bear statue. Interesting. That would have been very useful to know before. Uh, so uh, we actually might want to unban raccoons. And uh, the reason for that is twofold. One, so we can make raccoon stew. And the other is so that we can... Uh, so that we can use them to make rock eaters. Uh, because a rock eater would have been very useful in that last level. Many wild animals are quite peaceful until disturbed. Unban. There we go. Now hedges are virtually useless. And so let's ban those. And uh, that's where we're going to leave it off. So this is going to... Uh, so we should have episode 8 going up next time. Uh, this, you know, I, I put this up as 7.5 because I want the episode numbers to line up with the year numbers and, uh, this will be going up at the same time as episode 7 and, you know, things just didn't go the way that I wanted to, uh, last week and so, you know, every, everything took longer. It's like I had a three-day weekend and it was just so full of mess that I ended up not even getting everything done. So hopefully that won't happen again. Hopefully we can uh, keep up with things now. Until next time, thank you very much for watching and have a great rest of your day.